So, status update. We conquered as much as we could in Eastern Europe. We conquered the entirety of the Middle East, really. We invaded North Africa, joined with the Italians, did quite well, but we needed to put some reinforcements in to get anywhere. And we couldn't afford those reinforcements, so we just let it stall. And looking at it now, there's a possibility of these guys getting surrounded here, so I'm going to fool them back to there. Where's the cooked turkey? Here we go, these guys. Right, full back line. Like so. Six divisions get on that. Oh, hello, naval invasion. They are, however, completely out of organization, so... Select one of these. Crush that, please. See, the naval invader, they didn't take the port, though, so we can crush it. Thank God! We also pushed into the British Raj. We did quite well. We got to here with only 24 divisions uh, along this river. But again, we needed reinforcements. We needed to fully commit to it and couldn't afford the reinforcements. So we had to pull some troops off it. And as such, we've been pushed back to here. These guys can now have this as a front line. And the reason we couldn't afford to commit to either of these offensives was because of the war in Russia. So the most majority of our troops are now here. A lot of them are green. They've taken some very heavy losses. But we've done quite well. We've had multiple opportunities for peace. We could have a white peace really at any opportunity. We tried to get encirclement here, but it went very poorly. The Germans are utterly screwed. They've been routed and it's 1942, which isn't great. But we're doing very well. And these guys, once uh, our mechanized forces, which are heading over, we've got some troops and I believe some mechanized somewhere, heading over here. And we're going to try and push up around here, take Stalingrad and try and surround all of these troops. That's the plan anyway. I didn't turn off Steam notifications, so sorry about that noise. Anyway, in the meantime, we have got a massive deficit of support equipment and also infantry equipment to an extent. We are training 40 divisions, which will make a massive difference to this offensive here. And hopefully can push all the way up to Moscow and that, could, that can defeat the Soviet Union at the moment. They haven't actually allocated that many troops to us. I mean, I can't see because our recon isn't that great, but we're actually alright. Most of their troops are over smashing the Germans. So... What we are going to do first is see if we can take a bit of the strain off of uh, our divisions. So we don't need engineer companies with motorized infantry, do we? If we remove the, the signal companies, what do we get? Removing the signal company increases organization. Uh, okay, I don't know why we put a signal company inside the motorized division. That was silly. Yeah, much better idea to do that. Maybe logistics company? Instead of the um, engineer company? Either way, we want to do that. That's reducing the amount of support equipment we're using. Um, we want to keep the field hospital support artillery, that's for sure. Recon company, that's very important. Engineer company, do we need that? I guess we mm, digging in with motorized infantry? Maybe. I'm thinking logistics company. No, okay. No, we'll leave it how it is for now. Right, any more? We've got our cavalry divisions. They're alright as they are. We've got our mountain divisions. They're alright as they are. Military police, they only have military police. Mechanized divisions. Uh, they don't need the signal companies, I don't think. No, they don't. That reduces uh, quite a bit of support equipment usage and also improves those divisions. Right, how does that affect things? Okay, so that did make a bit of a dent in it. Um, but we still have a production deficit. Here we go, dynamic white piece. That's the United Kingdom. I'm tempted by that, but we'll finish the job for now. We'll, we can always propose a white piece later. There we go, we've crushed that naval invasion. 
I don't have much more beef with the UK besides Cyprus, um, but I'm not going to back out just now. Once we've destroyed the Soviets, we will want to conquer the Raj, Afghanistan, all the Middle East, and beyond. I did not realize we were at war with Xian Kiang, but thankfully this border is keeping them at bay, for now at least. So yeah, Oof. okay, it's a bit rough, but you know what, I think once we get our new divisions out, once we get rid of these deficits, we'll be alright. It's just infantry equipment, motorized and support equipment that we really need. So we've got, yeah. Two lines of support equipment, two lines of motorized, and we have two lines of infantry equipment as well, I think. Yeah, we do. But still not enough. So yeah, bit awkward. But hopefully the things will improve. We are being lend leased as well, which is nice. Hello, these are the Soviets. We'll finish the job! Right, so we've stopped this offensive here. For now. Um, yeah, they just have too many bloody tanks. We just need more divisions. Uh, I would very much like to... Sort this. But, yeah. We get them ready for an offensive, but in the meantime, we're just going to hold the line. The Soviets aren't too interested in pushing us back right now either, so. Three military factories. Right, we're going to start a new line of support equipment. Knock down the amount of fighters we're producing, knock down the amount of mechanized we're producing. Yeah. You only need to produce enough mechanized to support the current mechanized divisions we have. Import more of that, support less rubber. Import a bit less aluminium. Where are our fighters? We still have S priority? Yeah, we do. Okay. 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 Okay, they're waiting for reinforcements. They've got their mechanized, they've got some cavalry, they've got some divisions approaching, and then they're going to keep pushing. If only our recon wasn't so crap, then we might do better, but as it stands, there's no decryption advantage, so we can't see what they're doing, and they can't see what we're doing. We are well and truly stalled right now. So yeah, we just have to wait. I think we're going to wait through the winter to 1943. We'll get our new divisions. Once they have enough equipment to actually train. And then, hopefully, the renewed offensive will be able to push us straight up to Moscow. But without tanks, this is uh, difficult to say the least. Look how many factories we've got. I mean, we can't support our army. It's... Yeah. Annoying to say the least. Oh, yes, Sabakia, please. Give me, give me some stuff. Okay, now we're in the positive. So we just need to get rid of that deficit now. Step it up to four times speed. 391. Well, yeah, we're big time in the positive. Now we've sorted out our production. Still. Not great. Iran, naval invasion. Another one in the same location. Ah, oh, yes, what a great idea. Attack somewhere where you have... Yeah, we'll just wait for them to run out of organization. Yeah, we're holding the line here in the Raj. So, you know what? We'll be alright. As long as we hold all the ports, they're fine. They're, they'll, they'll just sit there. Three divisions run out of organization, then we'll crush them. We'll take Cyprus later. It's not priority right now. What actual focus are we doing? Tank experiments. Oh, yeah. We're trying to research some decent tanks. Why are you guys pushing? Oh, hello. They're pushing us back. Did we lose some divisions somewhere? I think we did. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Military youth? Division training time minus 10%, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? 
want to do that to be fair. We've done our tank experiments. Soviet threat. <laughs> There's not to push us back too much, then we will just white peace. We will leave Germany to die. But at the moment, we're okay. But it's not looking good. They just have too many tanks. And we don't. We just do not have tanks. We know what late game Soviets are like. Tanks, 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 tanks. Still, we're starting to stall them a bit. Hmm. A bit. These guys are almost strained, but we don't quite have enough. Tri what, what equipment do we need? Support equipment. Ah! I want to get them up to regular, otherwise they're just going to be eaten alive by the Soviets. But the shortage is going to last for 86 days. Can we hold for 86 days, or should we just deploy them unequipped and undertrained? 40 divisions can make a big difference. That's doubling our army size, almost. From this front line to there. Boom. Okay, these troops are heading over. They'll make a decent difference. And then we're going to try and push across. If we could surround this entire army, that would be amazing. That would be utterly catastrophic for the Soviets. And really amazing. I might turn this into a spearhead command, actually. Maybe we should divert troops to this. This could be like the masterstroke to end all masterstrokes. If we were able to push right across there. That would be a hell of a gamble. But we could just pull it off. I'm very tempted. I'm going to redeploy our um, mechanized divisions. All our motorized. Wait, how many divisions have we got on this? This board. This is nine. Nine divisions. Right. U9. Ah, crap. There we go. U9. You're now in this army. And assigned to that. Right, perfect. So now what we need to do is grab as many mechanized and motorized divisions as we can. How many do we have room for? We have room, well, room for nine, of course. Let's grab our actual mechanized division, of which we don't have many. Then our best trained motorized. And then we just get a very well trained infantry division. Redeploy. Round there. There we go. This is my master stroke. This is my plan. Massive offensive straight across there. Surround the entire Soviet army. This could go utterly horrendously or it could go really, really well. There's just no way of telling. Oh, please do, Hungary. Please do. Oh, hello. Tight research, we'll finish the job! And while we're preparing for that, we'll try and get rid of our deficits. Uh, we're back in the red again. Which is annoying. But what can you do? Not much is the answer. <laughs> Anything industrial we can do? Ooh, construction 5. Construct industry 5. Oh, I'm very tempted. Let's go for it. Industry is what's crippling us right now. Although we are researching some tanks, which we don't even have the resources to build. So we're going to stop research. Oh, it's only 40 days now. We'll research that. It's worth doing. Come on, guys. Just got to hold the line. If 
How long is this deficit lasting for? Screw it, we need the extra divisions. Deploy them. 40 divisions. You're green, but just get onto that front line. We need the extra divisions to plug the holes. Go for it. They're crap units, but we just need the units deployed and out there. They're almost trained, so a little bit of combat, that'll train them up. Just throw them out, just throw them straight in the deep end. Screw it. We need to just hold or we can get this offensive going. Right. Construction. We need to get those military factories being built faster. They might have cottoned on to what's happening. But we're holding it for now. It's currently a blizzard up there, but yeah. Hmm. Enemy has superiority. They've got 400 fighters up. Make that 200. Okay, now there we go. We've still got it. Do we have any air bases up here? No, we do not. Can we construct one? Yes, we can. But that's the top of the construction list. Thank you very much. Go. See if we can build an air base and try and get some air superiority for this as well. That'd be great. Ah, oh, better recon companies. Perfect. Keep improving that. Keep improving that. Recon is very important right now. There we go. Our divisions are going in to plug the gaps. Go, green divisions. Go. Bloody hell, that's a lot of greenies. They're attempting a naval invasion, but it ain't going too well for them. Uh, these guys are pretty much out of organization. But we'll wait for them to weaken a bit more. Uh, in the meantime, this is going badly, isn't it? There we go. You guys support them. We'll finish the job. Just relieve them a bit. There we go. Uh, no, don't kind of attack. Don't, don't kind of attack. Uh, damn it. <clears throat> Nine divisions here. Wow. Who's attacking? Why are you attacking? Oh, military police. Bloody hell. Yeah, don't garrison here anymore, guys. <laughs> Just you dudes hold the line. And of course, the US troops are arriving in America, uh, not America, Africa. That's splendid. We'll finish the job. Hmm. Okay, it looks like those extra divisions really helped. They're really helping just hold the line. I really would appreciate it if they actually got up there, though, instead of holding here because supplies. Hmm. Not helpful. 69 days until that's got rid of. And what about this one? 78 days. Hmm. Still not fast enough. Still, production efficiency is increasing. Uh, supplies, supplies, supplies. Please improve the supply situation. At least to just five. There we go. Yeah, we're straining it with that many divisions in there. Hmm. Still, the mobile divisions are needed. Get them in there anyway. Out of supply or not. 
We will improve the supply though. Make this top priority, please. As well as the airbase. That's also very important. Right, do we have any aircraft to spare? Yes, we do. We have about 200. Right, we'll deploy them and we'll get them up here. Flying air superiority for us. The weather's terrible, but they might be able to do it. How long till they arrive? 18th of January. Cool. Uh, I'll put you guys into your own theatre. You guys are very fast turkey. I don't know, I'm running out of names now. High priority, high equipment priority. Okay, looks like those extra troops really, even though a few of them are stationed back here because of the supply situation, um, really did make a, a good difference. We're holding the line now. Holding the line well. I believe our offensive is almost ready. Can we afford to wait like 60 days? No. These guys are well supplied. These dudes are because they get the high priority. It's these guys who are badly supplied. So you know what? We're really going to relieve that by offensive. <sighs> Large river crossing. Division still preparing. Yeah. As soon as the winter's over, we're doing it. They're in a blizzard right now, so it would be stupid to do it, but once the blizzard's over, we're doing it. I have decided. Medium tank. There we are. We could research medium tank 3. Then we can build it, but maybe there's more important stuff to be doing there. Like infantry anti tank. We can't build tanks at the moment, so there's little point actually researching them. Political power. Can we go on to free trade? We can. We have enough resources, I think. Yeah, let's go to free trade. We've got so much bloody oil. Let's do it. Boom. Research bonuses. Increase output. There we are. Right. What do we need to import now? Just more steel. That's it. Uh... There we go. We're level. And we got a massive, we get a research bonus and we get a production bonus. So that was worth doing. We should have done that earlier, really. But hey, what are you going to do? Right. 1% attrition. That's all right. Not going to lie, I am tempted by the, the British piece. We could always declare war on them later. Maybe. I don't know. As I said, it's tempting. Oh god, they've got a bloody naval invasion here now as well. They don't have a naval base though. Oh no, they do. They do very much have a naval base. Oh, They're pushing up through Africa as well. We may have to make peace with the Allies. Not gonna lie. I don't think we can afford to have this many wars. I think the Soviets need to be our priority 110%. It was dynamic white peace. So we keep all the territory we currently got. I think we need to do it. I don't think we can afford to continue being at war here. Ah, bloody Germany. Why is it so difficult to import from you? There we go. Hmm. 
Right, so we've been in this war about a year now. Land doctrine, uh, military youth, rocket population, mm, could be worth it. We could get more oil though, that would give us more. Lots of land doctrine stuff, yeah, we don't need much of that stuff. Could do the Atomic Energy Institute though. Could do with some more aluminium as well. We'll do that. Right, I think it's now or never, really, with this offensive. So, fast turkey. Here we go. You guys stop for a minute. So I'm going to stop the, the actual spearhead command because their AI is pretty bad, <laughs> is all I can really say. I'm going to do it manually. Finish the job. Finish the job. There we go. Now we're across the river. Should be able to do this with relative ease. Come on, reinforce them, please. Hurry up. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to utterly micromanage this uh, this offensive. I don't think we can afford to let them uh, do it themselves. Hello, ten divisions have landed here, but we should be all right about that. Uh, we're holding the allies back at the moment, but if it gets any worse, we will white peace with them. I don't think we have much much more of a choice. Right now, I think we can push for it. Yeah, they're, they're crumbling. I'm not entirely sure why they're crumbling so easily. They shouldn't be, but they are. I'm not complaining.